Hey guys, this is Bryce from Six Gill Fishing, and today we're going to be talking about the basics of jig fishing. And I've broken this down into five categories. We've got types of jigs, colors, jig trailers, rods and reels, and line. So to start, we've got our basic ball head jig, commonly known as the finesse jig. This jig is going to be really great for your do-all jig. It's going to be great around rocks, wood, not your best jig in grass. It's going to be a great dock jig as well. Throw this when you really want to get a bite. Then we'll go on over here to our casting or a flipping and pitching style jig. This is going to be another one of your do-all jigs. It's going to be great on rocks, good in wood, good on docks as well. Not your best grass jig, but it'll get it done. This jig is more of just a upsize from your finesse jig. This is looking for a little bit bigger bite. Then we've got our football head. This is going to be really good out deep, dragging rocks, dragging trees, dragging a brush pile, something that you're going to be dragging the fish out from deeper waters. Then we've got our swim jigs. These are going to be really good for a fish that is suspended in the water column, and we want to keep something up off the bottom and get more of a reaction strike. Now to roll into colors, for all of these jigs, let's try to stick to three main colors. Your black and blue, these are going to be really good for a dirty water situation. And then brown, some sort of variation of brown. These are really good when the water is a little bit colder, generally your winter months when these fish are going to be feeding on more on crawfish. Or a green, some variation of green. We're getting into the green time of year, you know, that water is getting above 55 degrees. These fish are going to be starting to feed a little bit more on bluegill that's when our green starts coming into play. Now with those colors, we want to match our trailers. So for throwing some sort of green, we generally want to match with some sort of green. Same thing with blue and brown. But with trailers, we can throw things like a chunk style. This is going to be a little bit less action, maybe for a little bit colder water situation. Or we have our flapping style trailers. It's going to make the jig fall a little bit slower, create a little bit more action, and just move more water in general. We also have a beaver style trailer. These are going to be really good when you're trying to match the action of a chunk, but you just want a little bit bigger profile, trying to get a little bit larger bite. But we also have a swim bait. Swim baits are going to be really good on the back of a swim jig for a really good natural presentation. You can also throw a flapping style craw on a swim jig as well if you just want to keep it up a little bit higher. Now we'll jump in to the gear. And for a jig, I really like the Cyclone or the Hamar. And I stick to the seven gear ratio because it's a good balance. It's not too slow, but it's not too fast. With those faster ratios, we lose a little bit of winching power. Now I stick to these reels, one like the Hamar, because of our new braking system. It's a great reel. It gets me dialed in quick, and I can put that jig exactly where I need it to go. And now we get into rods. And with rods, I really like to throw a faster action kind of rod, generally a little bit shorter, unless I'm throwing a deep, which this is a 7.3 medium heavy scythe here. This would be a really good rod to throw this football jig on. It's extremely sensitive, and it helps me pick up all the bites. This rod loads up great on the tip. I don't lose a lot of fish on here. So if you're looking for a little bit more affordable option, this Miyaka I can't recommend enough. This is an extremely sensitive rod, and this rod's going to allow me to put that jig exactly where I need it to, and it's just going to be an all-around good experience out there. Now if you're just getting into jig fishing, the Creature is another great option. This rod is going to allow you to do everything that these rods did, but this is going to allow you to get into it for a little bit more affordable price. Now with rod choice, I like to use most of the time, a seven foot medium heavy rod, but if I'm getting out there a little bit deeper, maybe you wanna lengthen up a little bit and go to a seven three or a seven six. Now with that, I like to throw anywhere between 15 to 20 pound fluorocarbon line. Fluorocarbon is very important for these jigs. It's just gonna allow it to be a little bit more sensitive. 15 if you're fishing cleaner water, and try to get up to more of that 20 if you're throwing around a lot of debris or anything that could break that line. All right guys, now just remember, Keep it simple. Stick to these three main colors. Stick to these head designs. Keep in mind your water temperature, time of year, where you're fishing for these fish. If you have any questions, leave us a comment down below. Hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to our YouTube channel.
because for our next video we'll be out on the water and I'll be showing you techniques that I like to use to throw these jigs. We'll see you in the next one.